Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rise of Mordor action for you today and today if you've read the title you know that we have an elven civil war, we have the Woodland Realm versus Linden and it is going to be a clash between the, well the Woodland Elves and well the Noldorian sort of styled Elves, I don't know if they're both, I think aren't they technically ones like Sylvan Elves which is like the Woodland ones over there and these are the Noldor Elves, sort of different Elven tribes as such, but we have some uh, Noldoran equestrians here making a large flank early on, uh, hidden to the uh, enemy over here. They're going around the back, but it looks like we're going to have a matchup here. First with the archers, it looks like the archers are coming across from the woodland realm first, and they have the numbers in their archers. So it will be interesting to see what happens here. This is just a quick one v one with uh, Dodgy Gob, who also has a YouTube channel. I definitely recommend you go and check out his stuff. Just some uh, Total War stuff as well, along with, uh, I think he's going to do some War Thunder as well. So if you're into War Thunder, I'd also feel you go and check out his uh, stuff. But if you want to get involved in some Rise of Mordor battles, I also recommend you join the Discord in the description down below. And it's always good to have more guys there that want to play some Rise of Mordor. Always need more players to do some epic scenarios. But as you can see here, these glorious looking elves are already setting up ready. We're going to have a, looks like almost like a firing squad here. Uh, ready to just basically duke it out these uh, elven archers probably can reach each other already I had a small like flanking force over here to hide but the uh, woodland elves didn't come that far wide so they rejoining the main army But uh, the cavalry all the way has already got all the way behind the uh, enemy lines and they're just getting ready in position for the right moment but I hope you guys have been enjoying all the content at the moment if you have been and you haven't already please remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment to show your support. I always want to, I always enjoy your support, guys, and I want to hit uh, 2,000 subs as soon as possible. I think we can, uh, we can get there soon. So if you haven't already, like I said, do remember to like and sub. It looks like the elves are actually still coming forward. These last Galen archers are still marching forward, and these uh, Noldorian archers are now opening fire. Here is the first few volleys, and I know you guys do enjoy seeing the elves on the. Uh, on the channel, so I'll try to get as many replays with them in. What is going on here? These elves are, uh, these guys floating in, yeah, they're on planks, they're floating in midair. Elves are known to, uh, well, float it would seem in Middle Earth. Um, but I mean, I doubt they're doing any damage to these elves just yet. These armor, like, both sides are going to have some really thick armor. I mean, they're certainly, yeah, bloodying them up, but that's about it. And there you go, some return volleys. And look at that, I mean, you just can see line after line. Let's have some more volleys. It's like straight out of the Battle of Five Armies. There you go. Loose. Fire. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it looks like uh, some damage. I mean, these uh, arch units also for Noldor are small. They only have 100 in their units compared to 120 of Las Garland. Whether that makes a difference, we'll never know. Will the Noldorians with the equality of 100 be better? Or will the numbers with the extra 20 troops be that? Will that be the difference? I do apologize. Oh, dear. Um, but it does look like these uh, Las Galan archers here are, um, well, getting pretty bloodied up. I think the Noldorians are starting to take the first few damages, though. I mean, I, well, I keep looking at their uh, ammo, but I mean, I think they've lost a couple, yeah. One or two here or there have been lost. The uh, shock infantry here also is under fire. It needs to be careful. They're just going to get bloodied up. They can't defend themselves, unlike the uh, sword infantry, Las Galan blades, who have a shield. But it does look like there's a small little force. This was the flanking force here. That was all the way over there. That is now coming up onto this hill. And then over this hill, there is some last garland blades waiting for them. They Both sides can see each other, I do believe. Maybe not. They can't see these hidden ones here. They don't know that these are reinforcements. It looks like the first clash of infantry is coming. There you go. They're going to have a, a volley as they come around the corner from the archers. And then go in the last garland blades and the Noldorian blades. In the, under the trees come the uh, the elves and the battle of the, uh, well this is the poorest crossings, I, I guess this has got nothing to do with it, but the battle of the poorest crossing with the elves here is starting. I guess it's like some weird elven civil war ha happened, they all hate each other for some reason. And here we go, the hall guardians are in battle. These guys, I don't know if you can tell, they look ever so slightly different, they've got darker armor now um, since like the most recent update. I don't know if I've actually showed them off since then. But they look really cool. I still like their look. I think they look really good. Um, they're still as OP as ever. So I'm sure we'll get some slow-mos in here and stuff like that. Just to uh, enjoy 
this and there you go you can see some null Dorian's already dropping and Ara is still flying in and these are these guys are actually faring too well I mean these are null Dorian swords these are a really elite uh, sword unit or shocking unit and they're losing to whole guardians shows the quality and here we go we're going to have uh, some null Dorian swords here getting ready they're going to clash with some last guard uh, spears I think these guys should really wreck the spears they should do a really nasty job but here we go in come the spears and we'll just put it back to normal speed now for a bit and there we go taking on the officer here officer versus a bloody Noldorian sword and he's pushed back and lives a fight another day we've got some spears now coming forward from Noldor so he needs to be careful here could be a flank going on and some and some swords now going in this definitely is making it very uh, possible that there'll be a flank here and yeah these spears I mean they're just getting ready in the center it's now all going off we've got some more swords going off over here Find some last garland blades. The fight in the woods over here is certainly going in favour, you'd say, of the Noldorian Linden uh, elves. These last garland blades are losing, as are the last garland spears. The cavalry is just making its moves now. We'll quickly come back to that in a moment. You can see these Noldorian swords are losing to the Hall Guardians. I mean, the Hall Guardians are also apparently losing. But uh, yeah, they've they've broken. These Hall Guardians are in. And now some ship shipwright nobles are being mobilised forward. They're pretty well graded. They've got three. Uh, bronze chevrons but they are very much regretted and then we've got another flanking force coming around here which has now been surrounded by the wooden realm so this didn't really pay off for linden and that is a shame but here we go we're going to have a charge from the cavalry and it's going straight after the general and um, this isn't really i mean i could have gone for other stuff but instead of a general snipe but he, he's the first unit here and he's always the last guy which look glorious as always they're about to get charged in the back by some noldorian equestrians and in they go. That is literally wrecked through the entire unit. The second unit's uh, sort of like got caught up, so it's uh, going to pull back and it's going to do another charge of its own. But yeah, that uh, Lord's Last Garden already lost 20 men, and here we go. Here's another charge coming in. And that's not as a great charge, but I mean, these guys just being intermixed. This cavalry is going to do some nasty work to these Lord's Last Garden. We're already down to 75 men. The main line, uh, battle line, is still looking a bit um, of a mess. You can see here these Hall Guardians, which is somehow like, look at this, I don't know how many there are of them. And I'm not quite sure where they all are, they're all over the place. Yeah, they're kind of like over here, they're in the front line here against these spears. A bit of a mess, but uh, yeah. And it's kind of, well, we'll have this up quickly. You can see here, most units are losing over here. It just seems everyone's losing. No one's a real winner. And that is the true, the, truly the case with elves. Elves fighting each other is never a good sign. And General is being attacked, I think he's being shot, he's under... Under archer fire from the numerous Les Garland archers that are still around. But yeah, I mean, it do look glorious to see these guys in their combat. The slow mo is uh, is beautiful. And then over here, it looks like, oh, we're going to have a slow mo charge again. We'll have a look at this slow mo charge of the Nordorian questions. The general's still just standing there. I mean, he uh, did take the first charge and then he's out. Well, what can he do? He can't outrun the cavalry. And there you go. You're going to see the. Uh, Noldorian cavalry run down these guys once again. And I think these guys are getting even lower. I think they're on like 30 men. Oh no, they're on 50 men now. But they're going to drop. They are going to drop. And now the swords are, like the shipwright nobles here, are in the arch line. They have chopped down this first few units. And the fight in the forest, the initial fight is still going on. It's still a bloody fight. These uh, hall guardians don't give up. Neither do anyone else, really. It's a brutal fight. Hopefully you can see it. It's a little bit dark in here, but... I mean, look at that glorious shield, if you can see that. That is a glorious shield there. Oh, this officer here has a glorious shield. I do like that. But, um, yeah, these, uh, these, they should hold for a little while. I mean, the general here is in real trouble. They might want to send some archers back, really, just to stop the general, get the general out of there. But where's he going to go? I mean, the archers can fire on him, if needs be. And these spears here have won. And there you go. The enemy general is dead. He died from that charge, the third and final charge, all it took. To finally kill this guy. He's under 22 men. And these uh, cavalry are still pretty fresh. Which is good. But they can go into any uh, any infantry they fancy now. And they're going in. One's going in here. Taking out these archers here. And then a, another one going in. On this uh, these swords over here. Which have just beaten this uh, flank force. And the cavalry's a little bit too late to come and save the day. But they've done their best. They've done their best. And they're running down. These last guard and blades are starting to lose, but I mean, yeah, the cavalry's now getting shot anywhere it goes by the still masses of archers that there are. There's still about five or six units of archers. 
Still a bit of an issue over here. This is a dangerous flank here. We've got a lot of... I mean, the elves are starting to blob up, which is a bit of an issue. They should really... They had... The Wooden Realm had more troops. He really should have uh, not blobbed, and instead of that, he should have just spread out his army to stretch the Noldorian line and surround them. But as you can see here, these uh, poor Wooden Realm are now getting surrounded, and it's a very... Uh, Sad way for them to go out, really. We have a line of gold and silver armored Noldorians just holding them back. But they, I mean, they're focusing down these uh, shipwright nobles in the rear, so that's a good use of the cavalry. But they're now getting uh, attacked by, well, uh, the, the archers. Sorry, but they're now getting attacked by cavalry. Um, so that's good. It'd be interesting to see if you could get the uh, like some horse arch units for the elves. That'd be really cool. I know in the sub mod they do for Inladris. Um, but it would be nice to see some sort of horse archer units for some of the other elven factions as well. Maybe not the, Nol uh, the Wooden Realm, but maybe the Noldorians. Because uh, basically Imladris and Linden have the same, are oh, both Noldorian factions. Like Noldorian elves. Because there is I, there is different types of elves. There's Sindar, Sylvan, and Noldorian. Or Noldor. Uh, just in case you didn't know that. A little bit of a fact to you there. Now we've got some... No some more Noldorian swords just getting ready to flank round. They can go either that way or they can go this way. I mean, and it looks like it's going to be a Linden victory. There is slowly cleaning up the last remnants of the uh, attack of the Woodland Realm over here. I mean, both of these factions are really good. I think it just comes down to player skill and how you do. I think the Woodland Realm had more troops, so he could have, well, stretch, like I said, stretch out the army, like the Linden army. And he just got lucky that the general got took out quite early for him. I was quite surprised when I played this battle that the, the Wooden Realm didn't bring the Elven King. Because he's a really good unit. And there you go. This charge in the back here is going to probably seal the fate of all these units here. They're starting to waver and lose decisively. And then in the final charge in here as well by some more... Or Dorian Swords to flank on in. And you can see here, I mean, we'll look at the numbers. They did have about a thousand more men, and they're now down to, well, zero there. They've all routed. And that was a close victory for the Linden Elves. So, yeah, that, that is the uh, results. We'll have a quick look at them for this uh, quick battle that I'm doing today. Um, but, yeah, we've got Noldorian Swords, 199 kills there. That's very good. Another one there, 198, 205 there. Some really good kills. The uh, Shipwright Noble's not doing so well. Uh, one of them got rinsed, uh, but the other ones didn't really get into combat and probably could have done quite well. Arch has got 115. The Spears didn't really do too much and got kind of destroyed. And the Cavalry gained 233 and 193 kills, so they did very well. And then the Ro Woodland Realm, uh, his best units, I think, were his Hall Guardians getting 92 kills. The rest of his army didn't do so great. His Lords of Las Garland got 66 kills and 60, which is not bad. And his uh, Las Garland Blades did okay. But they really could have done a lot better if they flanked around a bit more. And stretched out that army. As you can see there. They had a couple of extra units. And the cavalry didn't join until quite late on. So they could have uh, certainly done better then. They could, if they brought maybe less archers. And more like uh, swords. They may have done a bit better. But we'll never know. But yeah. Uh, definitely go check out Dodgy Gobs. The channel. I'll leave the link in the description. Go and check that out. Um, it does some great content. He's got quite a few great uh, Rome 2 battles out at the moment. And he's starting a co-op campaign. Or started a co-op campaign um, for Rome 2 as well. I'll definitely go and check that one out. And anyway, Legionnaires, if you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, bye for now.